thousands who didn't make it trackside had their annual flutter at the TAB, spending millions of dollars. On the Melbourne Cup alone, Victorian punters wagered a record $26.6 million. While the turnstiles were clicking over at Flemington, the TAB betting terminals were in overdrive. <laughs> Australians placed tens of millions of bets today with the gambling giant, Melbourne Cup proving as popular as ever with those keen for a one-off flutter. Because it's Melbourne Cup. <laughs> it's the only reason why I bet. Why Melbourne Cup? Ah, oh, because we get a day off. <laughs> not a betting person. So what's a uh, man like you doing at a place like this? I'm actually here to meet someone. Yeah, yeah. But those annual bets add up. In 1996, Victorians spent almost $37 million on the punt. Two years later, we laid out a further $11 million, and last year a record, with more than $53 million being placed for a bet. Betting-wise, the day was off to a good start before even the first race was called, with Victorian punters spending an amazing $7 million before 9am. So busy, the TAB website jammed with the demand. But anti-gamblers say while the day's sport and fashion should be celebrated, betting should not. Reverend Tim Costello also says the betting arena is no place for children. The culture to actually entice them is very seductive and powerful. And as we know, we have... Uh, the greatest number of problem gamblers anywhere in the world here in Australia. Well, it's better they learn um, modestly how to do it rather than excessively. So, you know, we come here, we put a dollar on, that's it. Mignon Henny, 10 News. The carnival crowd proved resourceful in the wet weather. Car park fans were forced to take shelter any way possible. It takes a lot more than a little rain or mud to keep the Flemington faithful away or out of their high heels. Racegoers adopting a devil-may-care attitude, pulling out all the stops to keep dry. It's great weather for ducks. <laughs> this is terrible, isn't it? It's going to be a great day, though. Practicality often became more important than glamour in the members' car park. Cold. <laughs> Excited, yes. <laughs> That's right, and we need a winner to cheer us right up. <laughs> but others proved how resourceful you can be under a brolly. The die-hard Cup Carnival fans spent much of the morning setting up a waterproof camp in the nursery. They arrived by boat and wined and dined in their cars. Two, three, one! <laughs> others preferred a beer and barbie. For those who couldn't quite bear a soggy start to the day, there were plenty of options. Like here at the Sofitel, where racegoers enjoyed a lavish cup breakfast before enduring the rain. What better way to start the day than oysters? The salmon and pastries looked almost too good to eat. At the height, the bubbly flowed, socialites swapping advice on how to beat the bad weather. Get into all the lovely marquee, and you don't have to be in the rain at all. At the Chipley on Flemington, punters were given some early morning entertainment before heading to the track. Martine Griffiths, 10 News. Well, let's now cross to reporter Kim Carter, who's outside Flemington, where thousands of racegoers are finally heading home. And Kim, security was stepped up for this year's event, and coupled with today's rain, by your observations. Has this kept crowd behaviour in check? Well, thanks, Mel. There's still quite a few very merry people around, but overall police have been extremely happy with the crowd behaviour this year. In fact, they've described it as nothing short of fantastic, with just two arrests for drunkenness. And they seem to think that could be because of the wet weather, people tending to party a little less hard and leaving the track a little earlier than usual. But, Mel, the night is still early. Yes, and Kim, we can see a booze bus uh, in the background there. Police caught uh, any drink drivers yet? Well, there have been no arrests recorded yet. It seems most people seem to have heeded the police warnings that there are a lot of booze buses around. In fact, there's several located around the race course and across the city, and they'll continue operating throughout the night. So the police warning is that if you drink and drive tonight, you'll stand a very strong chance of getting caught. Thank you, Kim. Reporter Kim Carter, live there from Epsom Road. Now, it was back with the coverage of all tonight's sport. Thanks, Al. An historic Melbourne Cup win for Sheila Laxon and Horse Ethereal. Next, we wrap up the day's racing in Flemington in what has been an action-packed day on and off the track.